Dear colleagues, distinguished attendees, speakers, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good morning, and good evening. Um, this is, uh, I'd just like to uh, wish you all the best, and uh, it gives me a great opportunity to have a conversation with you through uh, the Zoom recording. And I'm recording this video uh, from a beautiful island country in Pacific or Fiji. Um, so right now the borders are closed and we are hoping to have the border open uh, tomorrow. So uh, if everything goes right, uh, my warm welcome to every one of you. Please come and visit us and support us in terms of the uh, economic support for Fiji. Having said that, it is a great opportunity for me to speak uh, at, at the opening ceremony. Uh, and you know, in, in, if you if you remember that we have been in COVID for the last almost two years, and this come December we will be. This is the second year, and it's not over yet. And as we know, recently we have found out another variant which has come up. Uh, keeping that in mind, I think the COVID nineteen pandemic has had a significant impact on people's lives, and its extraordinary economic and social implications have compelled all nations to band together to strengthen not just public health system, but also our social and economic responsiveness. Uh, COVID-19 has demonstrated the consequences of a lack of preparedness and resilience. As a result, we need both short and long-term measures in recovery plans aimed at delivering economic prosperity, decent jobs, as well as an effort to address pressing environmental challenges and improve society, society's environmental health and resilience. Having said that, I think it's very important uh, a role of, especially from the development banks and the financial sector, to, uh, to continue to provide support to customers in during these tough times. Any FIAP has joined hands with the international partners to co-organize the World Development Finance Forum of 2021. This year's team discovered the game-changing solutions to finance a sustainable post-pandemic future focuses on finance and solutions on a national level to the domestic financial industry, relevant government and ministries, departments of, or authorities, policymakers, regulators, and specialists. Basically covering from end to end, all the way from a customer requirement from the to the banks to the regulators, and providing a solution to all of our uh, people who are in need. This international conference will look at strategies and solutions from across the world to close the finance gap and invest financial resources in promoting long-term economic growth. We will drill into cutting-edge technological, technological knowledge and technology to come up with unique ideas and practical solutions that are also environmental challenges. Financial institutions have a role to play in development of a new economy that is technology-driven, environmental-friendly, inclusive, and sustainable. I like to say, give an example over here. We in, in, in in our part of the world, we are signing up with one of the app developers in our, of our city in Australia, which basically tells us in terms of how many people are going to be employed, what are the genders, and how we support these things, and what will be the carbon emission, and how do we control that. It's, and, and we provide an incentive each certain benchmark, they will be giving a less interest rate. So I think these sort of uh, um, practical solution need to come out to support our customers. Having said that, uh, providing end-to-end -end technological support and especially in terms of digital channels, we would like to make sure that yes, we get the support from the world uh, best performing uh, technologies and share with every one of you. Else. Ladies and gentlemen, our program and sessions are intended to show how we will accomplish all of that. I look forward to e-meeting you all as we converse and we renew our commitment to enable us to work together for a sustainable future. We're still in COVID and we're still in pandemic. So my request is every one of you, please follow the protocols, be safe and wishing you all the best for the successes in the future. Thank you.